In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the best trading tool out there and it's free. Hey, it's Justin from local channel trading where we focus on trading success, trading strategies and trading psychology. Today, we're going to be taking a look at trading view, really one of the best free tools out there for trading, even long term investing. Specifically, we're going to dive into three major things that they offer there, which is charting, which you know, I love their charting, beautiful charting, a paper or trading account or demo account or simulator, as well as we're going to be taking a look at the screener or scanner stock finder you know so many terminologies for the same thing i highly recommend you guys stick around for the full video as we're going to be dropping a lot of value and tips that you're able to apply instantly today so you know a lot of benefit there and i highly recommend you click the link down below the trading view link visit localchannelchrading.com where you know there's course content and some more information out there as well as a free ebook. Don't forget to check out that free ebook at localchannelchain.com. Without further ado, you know, I really want to get you guys that value and, you know, share with you this um, super incredible tool. So let's dive right into it. All right, so if you go ahead and click that link down below, it'll bring you to this site, which is tradingview.com. Um, I'm already signed in. If you're not signed in on the upper right hand side here, it would say sign up for free account. So you can go ahead and sign up a free account and you'll be back on this page. I usually just from here, you just go into charting, but uh, I'll hit you guys with that first tip. And that tip is to download the app version. So I highly recommend if you're going to be trading to be trading on a PC, a computer of some sort, right? Not on a phone. So you could be as highly efficient as possible. I got a couple monitors to, you know, boost up that efficiency. And yeah, so all you have to do is go to Google here and type in trading view download. It'll bring you to that first one where you could download to Windows, Mac or Linux. And, you know, it's that's the desktop version. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my desktop version here for you guys trade in view i'm already signed in so you know it's going to bring me right in but we're going to go through and break down everything all right so my charting right now is going to look a lot different from yours um i like to keep one chart up here a five minute chart focus on one chart at a time when i'm doing here it's a little bit more complicated i got multiple charts here i'm subscribe to the premium version so I'm able to get all these other charts but you guys don't need to worry about that right now so the first thing that I really like to do is you know it's too bright you know <laughs> I go right click my screen go to color theme and I change that to dark it really um, better on my eyes I could see better and so the first thing we're going to take a look at and what we already have been taking a look at is this charting this is you know where you do your technical analysis, you know, your, all your lines, um, depending how you trade, you add your different indicators. I like to keep mine clean. I got that nine EMA moving average. I got that 20 EMA and then I got the view app volume weighted average price. And then I got volume bars down here. And basically, if you just want to add indicators, you could see at the, the top here, it says indicators and then you can go ahead and search for indicators, you know, there's built in candlestick patterns. I really highly recommend you guys keep it simple. Um, so you can focus on that price action and, you know, not have a whole bunch of junk on your charts and you don't really know what's going on. It's just going to take away from your understanding. And so really that's all literally basically what I have on my chart. The only thing else I have right here is my favorites bar where I take these things that are on the side. There's trend lines, info lines really a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even use any of these stuff. I just, you know, favorited a horizontal line trend line and it pops up right here on this bar, which I'm able to, you know, just click on it. And then, you know, if I see any resistance, boom, right. And then I have that line there going on from all the different time frames. That's a one minute and all the way down into the daily time frame. As you can see that spot, it's fairly significant. All right. So yeah, basically when it comes to charting all your brokers and what, depending on what broker you use, you know, 
they have f charting i feel like this is the real best charting for me personally i'm like an aesthetics person i like when things are nice and neat organized so i can function as efficiently as possible to get the best results right because if you think about trading trading is a performance right it's a it's like a performance sport you, you know you gotta in order to make money you gotta perform well right so when it comes to charting you know free fairly simple you you may be delayed on some things um not too sure it d depends on what exactly are you looking at if you want, you know, that full real-time data, of course, you're going to have to subscribe for that real-time data. I think I paid $2 for the New York Stock Exchange, and I think I have real-time for NASDAQ. Yeah, as you can see, I hover over I have real-time for NASDAQ as well. So when it comes to charting, that's basically all you need. Uh, depending on the strategies is what time frame you're going to be looking at and when it comes to all those I highly recommend um, you learn a strategy develop a strategy that's why I highly recommend you go to localchannelchading.com where you can you know find some basic strategies to start off with and develop your understanding let's move on to the next thing so the next thing on here that uh, I really want to focus on is the stock screener so everyone's like oh what stock should I be looking at right and you know, bless Trade View for offering uh, a screener that actually works. You know, my broker Quest Trade, they have a screener. It's not the best. It, you know, it has some issues sometimes, and it's not the best. So, what you could do if uh, you never see me there just now is just at my bottom of my screen. I click Stock Screener. You could also get it get to there from that first home menu that we're at you'd see stock screener just click on there and it'll only bring up the stock screener this brings it up with the charts so you know highly efficient and i only really use one scanner on there of course you can filter this gap scanner to search for whatever you want specifically um i just have a gap scan and i'll break down the filter and sort of how i use it so the first thing I guess we can, you know, you see, I need my gap scanner here. So on my filters, which you, all you want to do to program these filters is, you know, click on filters there and then start adding in whatever you want. So I only have four things on there. You can see it says a, a four circled on there. Four things I require for my gap scanner personally. The first thing would be. I scan for stocks, right? Because I'm looking for stocks, I'm not looking for cryptos. I'm not looking for Forex. I'm looking for stocks. Second thing I add on there is a price. I don't trade penny stocks. If the price goes over a dollar, I'm interested. Of course, you can trade penny stocks. So you can, you know, leave it at any. Yeah, as the last price. I put the last price above a dollar because for my strategies and what I trade you know, over a dollar is what's necessary. So the only other thing to for is the pre-market gap percentage. Since it is a gap scanner, we're looking for those stocks that are gapping up. That means it's opening significantly higher or lower, creating a gap in the chart from the previous day. So if the previous day's close was $10 and today it opens at $11, then there's a $1 gap. And there's a space in the chart on the daily chart that show that space. I'll show you an example right after this. For now, put it at 4%. So I want to see stocks that are at least gapping up 4%. Really, you don't need anything other than that. The only other thing I have on here, as you can see, is my exchanges. So I'm looking for New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. So that's it for the gap scanner. Once you do that, you know, you'll see what's whatever's popping for today. Personally, I like to click on, you can see it says pre-market gap. You can click on it and it'll show you whatever stock was gapping up the highest pre-market, right? So you'd see that 20% or whatever. I also, during the day, I don't look at the pre-market since I already looked at all these stocks. I'd be adding it to my watch list or doing whatever technicals. I would just click on change percentage. And then I'm seeing, you know, real time you know what's moving up how much percent 
This only gapped up 7% this morning, but this is up 25%, right? So then I would, that would be popped up on my screen. And what's lovely about this is that you could just literally click on it and boom, it pulls up on your chart or if you right click it, you can add it to your watch list. And, you know, I highly recommend you play around with it. This is going to be your best friend. This tool here would be your best friend. This is where you can do all your technical analysis and yeah, where you're going to spend the most time, right? For your opportunities, aside from your broker, where I just use to execute my order. So hit that buy and sell button and yeah, look at my account details. There are some brokers that can hook up to this uh, trading view specifically depends on what broker you are you're using. So let me quickly just show you guys that gap on um, what I was talking about when we we're using a gap scanner. So I'm just going to go on a daily chart. We're going to put down this gap scan real quickly. So all you have to do is click on it. Boom. I'm not going to go super in depth on the other tools and stuff in trading view specifically as there's so many things that you could possibly take a look into. I highly recommend you go play around. Like I said, it's going to be your best friend. So if we're looking at this chart, this is just the, the market, the spy, right? So if we look at this day here, right, it, it opened all the way down there at 398. It closed at 400. And then the next day it opened at 403. So there's a $3 gap there. And it, you know, it shows that gap on the chart and that's basically what a gap is. So if there's stocks really popping up, maybe we'll look at look, GME, you know, there's a couple gaps there. So that would have popped up on my chart, right? On my screener on that day that, oh, this is gapping up. This is significant. And then, you know, I'll be looking at that to trade, right? Especially on these super big ones. Those ones would have been on our chart. All right. So let's move on further. Let's move down to the paper trading, the demo account, the simulator, which is going to be down here as well. So here is where, you know, I feel like the most value here because, you know, when it comes to simulators, um, you know, it's like, how do you practice without risking real money? You use paper trading account, right? I always used to recommend quest trade right because it's the broker that i use and it has a free simulator it does work but it's not the best this is a hundred times better <laughs> like it works so much smoother and you have the ability to get real-time data trading so if we're looking at say gme and it was moving popping up right now right you can literally trade that with fake money whereas if you're using something like quest trade simulator it'd be 24 hours delay. So you'd be trading yesterday's data, right? So this allows you to, you know, trade real time and yeah, really get that practice in. So from here, um, usually it'd pop up with your order entry there, but uh, yeah, I closed mine earlier, but you could just right click and create new order and boom. You know, this was your order entry. So this is basically like if you're using your broker where your broker, you can hit buy and sell. This is what it is. If we want to buy, we can go ahead and buy and sell. Um, Right now, the market's closed. So I'll just give you guys in a quick example on like some crypto Ethereum. I, I do recommend, you know, you practice a certain strategy, not just buy anywhere. But for this example, for example, uh, for example purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and buy one uh, share of Ethereum. So I just clicked buy market order and we're in. So what's lovely about this uh platform here is even though i just entered a market order i didn't really plan my risk or anything you can go ahead and add that protection so in this platform it's called protecting your position so if you right click everything is basically like right click you right click your position there and you can click protect position and you can literally put in your stop loss after the hand so let's put in a stop loss this one's a random one uh, it's fairly close, right? It'll add that stop loss in, or we can add, you know, let's X that stop loss. Yes. Let's protect position. We can add a take profit so we can add the risk and we can add our target. 
just from you know this one modification here which is completely amazing um yeah you can go ahead and practice here just buying and selling looking for you know the different patterns you seen this nice bull flag there if we we're there earlier we could have uh, capitalized on that but nonetheless we're in it you know we're up a couple right say so if we wanted to take profit i want to sell just on market you know boom click sell and we're filled you know we made like two dollars or whatever we can go and take a look at our history so if we go take a look at our account history we see that oh boom you know we just closed the long position at what price are bounced before and you know really go into the depths of it as well there's a trading journal you can also add notes like there's this tool is like you know the best tool out there it provides you with that full service um when it comes to trading and everything you need when it comes to trading so i highly recommend uh you guys uh really look into it if you haven't already you know i mean you're here you might as well go take a look and try it out yourself get some practice and you know learn how to trade visit localchannelstrading.com <laughs> uh there's other things like i said that you can go take a look at one thing that you can do though is if you go to trading settings by right clicking you can you know customize even more you know your charts and your scales and whatever you want you could also do it from here go to settings and you know you can customize wherever you want so i really recommend you know you go through and you get the most benefit out of this tool and yeah that's really um what i want to show you guys here and yeah if you have any questions i highly recommend you comment down below right i love questions you see i answer like all my questions all that i see really get your questions answered as well you know reach out to me personally catch me on instagram at justin beds you know some more trading content you know somewhere else to find me as well as a free discord chat room so that's all for this video you know hopefully you guys got that value Hopefully that brought some awareness to you to see, you know, some of the tools out there and, you know, how you can really capitalize and get the most out of, you know, these free tools, YouTube free, tradingview.com free, right? So see you guys again on the next video. Hope you guys have a good day.